a graph is a finite non-empty set of vertices together with a possibly empty set of edges. So in graph theory, a graph consists of vertices. Vertices are these dots that you are seeing right here, you know, and edges. Edges are these lines, you know what I'm saying, that joins the vertices. So it is a finite non-empty set of vertices. Finite that emphasizes that the vertices that are in a graph are not infinite, right? They have got a specific number, right? It is a finite non-empty set of vertices. So it is non-empty, right? You cannot have a graph with no vertices, for example. You know what I'm saying? So it is a finite non-empty set of vertices together with a possibly empty set of edges. So this just means, this possibly empty just means that it is possible to have a graph without edges. For example, graph X and graph P does not have edges. You know what I'm saying? So in graph theory, a graph has what we call an order. Right? So an order is normally um, written as N. Say N of G. You know what I'm saying? So this G here is a graph that was given a name G. For example, this graph here is for the name X. You know what I'm saying? So the order is the number of vertices that a graph has. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is uh, can be referred as the cardinality of a graph. You know what I'm saying? So a graph has got what we call an order. An order is the number of vertices that are in a particular graph. So let's look at the graphs that we have here. Graph X, for example. The order of X is 1, 2, 3. So X has got three vertices. Let's look at the order of Y. Y has got 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So Y, the order of Y is 4. In other words, Y has got four vertices. Let's look at the order of Z. Right here. So Z has got 1, 2, 3, 4. Z has got 4 um, vertices. So that is the order of a particular graph. Let's look at the order of graph P. You know, so graph P has got 1, 2 vertices. So um, N of P is, is equals to 2. So with an order, we are uh, actually asking you guys how many vertices does that particular graph has? You know, so as you have said here, X has got three vertices, Y has got four vertices, one, two, three, four. Z has got one, two, three, four uh, vertices also. Then P has got one, two um, vertices. Another thing that we have to know about a graph is when you are asked to find the size of the graph, we normally write it as M of G. Remember that G is just um, an alphabet that I chose to name my graph, right? So um, N of G is the number of vertices. Then M of G now refers to the size. You know what I'm saying? So it is actually the size of the graph. And the size of the graph is the number, as you guys can guess, the number of edges that are in a particular graph. You know what I'm saying? And we've got four graphs right here. So M of X is equal to what? Let's see how many edges does X have? X has got no edges. Graph X has got no edges. So M of X is zero. What about M of Y? Let's look here. So Y has got one, two edges. You know what I'm saying? So M of Y or the size of Y is equal to two. Let's look at M of Z. M of Z has got only one, there is it, one edge there, so it's one. What about M of P? The size of P is the number of edges that P has, the graph P has, and here P has got no um, um, edges, so um, the size of P is a zero. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take this a bit further, right? Let's say we have got a graph of this manner. We have got a graph, you know, with um, four vertices. So this joins here. Let's say this joins here. Let's say you've got a graph like this, for example. 
let me put another um, vertex right there so we've got x y z p and q let's call this graph h you know what i'm saying so for graph h if i can ask you the the order of the graph of h the order of the graph of h is the number of vertices that h has so h has got one two three four five so the order of h is five you know it is the number of vertices that h has what about the size of the graph of h the size of the graph of h is the number of edges that the graph has so h has got one two three four so h uh, has got four um, edges hence the the size of h equals to four you know what i'm saying so now if i can just ask you guys the vertex set of the graph of h or the representation of the vertex set of the graph of h you would represent it in this way um you have got vertex x vertex y vertex z vertex p vertex q right so if i write it like this i just mean that the graph of h has got a vertex x y z p and q you know what about the edge set of the graph of h the edge set of the graph of h is actually the edges that the graph has you know so we have got this edge x y x y where is the other edge there is it y z y z you've got another edge here x z there is it x z and then there's another edge um y q y q so this is the vertex set of the graph of h and this is the edge set of the graph of h you know what i'm saying there is another phenomenon in graph theory um that we actually uh, spend time on which is actually important as far as the theorems that are about to follow um when you are asked to find the degree okay let me just define it the degree of a vertex the degree of a vertex i'm sure you might hear this maybe you might get this in tutorials or exams right where they ask you guys to find the degree of a particular vertex so basically how you find the degree of a vertex you just count the number of um, vertices that are adjacent to that particular um, um, vertex for example let me just write it here um, so x is adjacent adjacent to y so this means that x is connected to y by an edge there is it x and y are connected by an edge is there any other vertex that is adjacent to x in fact yes x is also adjacent to z so x is also adjacent adjacent to vertex z right here so this is um adjacency so x is adjacent to y because x is connected to vertex y by an edge and also guys you cannot say x is adjacent to q here because x is not connected to y so the x is not connected to q by an edge you only look at um situations where that particular vertex is connected to the other vertex by an edge you know what i'm saying okay so the vertex uh sorry the degree right of a vertex is the number the number right the number of vertices um that are okay the degree of vertex let's say vertex u for example these are the number of vertices that are um, adjacent the number of vertices that are adjacent to um vertex u you know what i'm saying or if i can just um you know um emphasize this more the degree of vertex u is the number of vertices that are adjacent adjacent by an edge 
right? So the number of vertices that are adjacent by an edge to vertex u, you know what I'm saying? So basically, for example, if let's look at the graph of h here, you know what I'm saying? The degree, we normally write it like this, the degree of a vertex. So let's look at vertex x. So this is vertex x. How many vertices um, are adjacent to vertex x? So we have got x is adjacent to y and z. So the degree of x is 2. Let's look at the degree of y right here. So y is adjacent to z, q, and x. You know what I'm saying? So the degree of y is 3. Let's look at z here. So the degree of z. Z is adjacent to y and adjacent to x because it is connected to those um, vertices by an edge. You know? So the degree of z is 2. Let's look at the degree of q, for example. The degree of q, um, you are basically asking how many uh, vertices are adjacent to q, right, by an edge. So it's only 1, which is y. So the degree of q is 1. Lastly, let's look at the degree of p. The degree of p. You see, p is a vertex on its own here. It is not adjacent to any other um, vertex, either um, y, um, z, or q. You know what I'm saying? It is not connected to any other vertex by an edge. So the degree of q, sorry, of p is 0 in this case. So that is basically what we mean, guys, when we're speaking about the degree of a vertex, which is going to bring us to something else. So in the graph of h, this, these are the degree of the vertices of the graph of h. We have got what we call the maximum, maximum degree. You might be asked to find the maximum degree of a graph. We normally write it like this. The maximum degree of a particular graph. Let's say the graph of H right here. This is the graph of H. Okay, this is the graph of H. The maximum degree of the graph of H. Um, okay, I'm going to tell you what that, what that is. Okay, so basically, if you look at the graph of H, we have got the maximum degree and the minimum degree. So the maximum degree is, um, we are actually looking at the highest degree from all the vertices of h. You know what I'm saying? So the highest degree here is 3. So the maximum degree of a particular graph, we look at all the vertices of the graph and look at the vertex with the highest degree. And that is the number. And also we've got the minimum, minimum degree. So as you guys are probably guessing from home, the minimum degree is actually is written like this. The minimum degree of the graph of H. You look at all the vertices of the graph of H and look at the vertex with the lowest degree. So obviously it's P here. So the minimum degree is zero. You know what I'm saying? Um, one last thing that I want to uh, put, you know, to your attention um, is even and odd vertices okay so even and odd vertices we are basically speaking about the degree of a particular vertex if the degree of a particular vertex is an even number for example this one this uh, vertex is called an even vertex right if the degree of a particular vertex is an odd number that vertex is called an odd um, vertex. So, um, how many? Um, so, okay. For for example, in the graph of H, how many even um, um, vert vertices do we have? So, the even vertices that we have, you must look here. Is two an even number or an odd number? Is three an even number or an odd number? Same applies here. Also here. Also here. There was actually a debate about this as to just 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 Google this. Is 0 an even or odd number? You know, just go about it and write it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. So, we look in this case. 
as to how many uh, vertices have got an even number have got a degree that is an even number and that is those are even vertices and how many vertices have got an odd number and those are odd vertices you know what i'm saying okay um so that is the basic introduction of graph theory right so one thing to take home is that a graph consists let me just bring this paper down a graph consists of vertices and edges right so um and the number of these vertices are finite you know what i'm saying a graph can have no edges that is why we say possibly empty set of edges and a graph has got an order which is the number of vertices that are in a graph the size which is the number of edges that are in a particular graph so here we did those examples and explored it in detail and then the degree of a vertex we look at the number of vertices that are adjacent to that vertex by an edge you know what i'm saying and then that is going to be the degree of a vertex for example here we look at z so z is adjacent to vertex x and vertex y because they are joined by an edge however z is not adjacent to p right here even though they are close to each other they need to be joined by an edge that is what qualifies um two verti vertices to be adjacent to each other you know what i'm saying okay so and then we looked at the different degrees for the vertices of h right and then the maximum degree of a graph now the maximum degree of a graph we look at the vert at the vertices of the degree of the vertices of that particular graph and look at the highest value the highest value here is three so the maximum degree of the graph is three the minimum degree is going to be the lowest value from the degrees that we have here and the lowest value here is zero right and lastly even and odd vertices even vertices are the vertices that has got an even number of degree or an even degree if i can put it like that and odd vertices are the vertices with an odd degree okay guys i trust this makes sense to stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day on the next video i'm gonna do a thorough example to just cement you know the theory i just gave you guys to stay blessed